down! When I started off, I actually trained to be a priest. Hey, you guys need to talk to each other. You're too fucking close. Tell them to piss off or move to the left. I'm a staff sergeant now. My responsibility is around training, make sure that we're supplied around weapons, ammo, water, or food, all that. So everyone's supported for um, executing an operation or a mission or a task. You don't move past until you know for certain that bad guy is taken out cleared, okay? And what do we mean by laying down fire? On the actual enemy, not these bullshit calls. It has to be when it's suppressing or taking out the enemy. Everyone knows that's happening, but everyone's eager to get that kill. We'll swap around, let's kick off, eh? Well, the next one. I suppose part of me being a soldier, you know, we always talk about integrity and the moral compass. And that's really been quite significant in me making that choice to be a vegan. You know, when I see what's happening to animals, the way we treat them, uh, for fun, for food, you know, for industry, then it's quite clear to me that that doesn't align with my um, set of values or my moral compass. So, you know, you do take an oath about um, fulfilling your duties as a soldier and as a citizen. I suppose for me, I, it, you know, it goes into a deep level about being a human being. And that's, you know, and I see all the, all the animals as, as, as citizens, as fellow citizens. Helena was quite a sly and injury about giving food and information. And I was real resistant, I'll be admitted. The last thing that was for me to go was the fish and dairy. But then again, I saw some more information, especially about the dairy cows and, and the bobby calves. So I thought, oh no, I can't be part of this anymore. I think what annoys me the most is when people go, oh, don't you want to just, when Helena's like looking, go and eat some meat? And I was like, oh, no, why would I do that? When I was a child, we had to go over to my uncle's in South Auckland, of course, and there was a pig at the back there. And I used to, like, I befriended the pig and I patted it. Then later on, um, we had to kill that pig. And, I, and it wasn't a cutting of the throat or anything like that. It was the most worst uh, way that you could. My brother and I had to stand on this metal pipe across the pig's neck and the weight of our bodies was just to strangle it and it just struggled, struggled and I kept looking at the pig and I was uh, struggling um, and then I just, I was pr pretty much like in, sort of in shock and I just stood there while, while my, my uncle uh, cut it up and you know and just got it ready for, for our umu or for the meal, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> we meet. So vegans can be in the army and kill like animals, humans, we just can't eat them. So, <laughs> vegans can hunt but not eat. <laughs> what the sounds of it, yeah. Oh, no comment. You kind of get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you kind of expect them to be a bit more happy and dreads and you know, that kind of cliche type. Oh, and he doesn't talk about it all the time either, so it's kind of different <laughs> for a vegan. <laughs> All our weapons in. Weapons in. Okay, you can start filing through, eh? Hey, whoever bombed out the toilet with their smell, I think you need to stop eating meat. <laughs> they don't tell me I have to cook, which is traditionally the role of a CQ. I usually just stand upwind and have my own meal or avoid eating for the morning. I'm going to pop into the vegan bakery after this. Yeah. Some real food. No, I used to be really uh, amongst it as well. Barbies and... You know, I think in Recon, uh, we'd even have a live kill that would hang and barbecue on there and just cut off the, the spit. You know, that sort of warrior team building sort of thing. And all those sort of false or, you know, disillusioned aspects of masculinity. You, know, you have to kill an animal, skin them, or you have to eat this red meat um, to, to reinforce how much of a man you are, how big your balls are. Uh, I, I don't fall for that as well. It has changed in regards to socialising, I think that's been a big one. A traditional barbecues, so I have to come along prepared, yeah, or preload with bananas. <laughs> my parents immigrated from Samoa. When I was overseas in Timor, my mother used to um, mail boxes of corned beef for us. They still ask me every now and then when I tell oh, I'm going to come around and visit you, can you bring me some uh, a hamburger and fish and chips? I said, no. Remember I told you? I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. Just some milk then. I said, but I love them, I love them. And I think they're understanding now, um, especially, you know, it's been 
four years now, coming up to four years, they understand how important it is and how important it is for me and Helena. A lot of people ask, is there a conflict of interest being a soldier and being a vegan? I, I don't think there is. You're always going to need those roles of like the policeman, the soldier. For example, the Sikhs were um, like the sort of protectors, the old school version, they were um, vegan, they didn't eat any meat. But I haven't um, fortunately been in that sort of position where we've had to you know, use those skills or what I've been learnt and, you know, to harm another human being. I just think it's a part of me, I wouldn't be able to separate um, being a vegan and definitely being a soldier. It's, it's just so much a part of me that, you know, I couldn't see any difference in that. How I choose to use those skills, um, to use our violence, so I think that's, that's a bigger question, that moral question there, how you do it, you know, how you use violence, you know, how you are a soldier. There's actually quite a few of the army guys that have um, converted a little bit yeah. and are um, showing a lot of interest in veganism. And I find that he asks me always to make extra food now because uh, the other guys end up eating his food that he brings. So I, I would definitely say he is a role model. And also, like you've brought quite a few people mm. um, to along to protest and, and yeah. things. Um, and since he started his blog too, which I never thought was going to be something that you would do.